Hello to everyone. This video is going to be different. Instead of giving you some kind of advice or showing you different parts of the world, in this video I'm going to show you my country, Bulgaria. Actually, this is more like invitation to come and see my country. At the moment I am in one very interesting place. This is like a small ethno village located around 60 kilometers west from my hometown Varna and it has these interesting yurts. Here, between 11th and 14th of May, we're gonna have this Bulgarian Adventure Group meeting. It will take place exactly here and there will be at least 100 people motorcycle travelers from Bulgaria and I hope many from abroad. So everyone who wants to meet me can just come here and we're gonna have a nice conversation. This is our campfire. It is going to be very big during the evening and all of us will stay here around. Over there on one of the corners we're gonna have lamp roasted for everyone who want to test it. And if you are worried about accommodation, you don't have to because all of these beautiful yurts, they will be here for us. So let me show you a few examples what exactly I mean, what the accommodation will be. And of course, later I'm going to discuss the prices and everything. So there will be two types of yurts. This is the first type, which is for how many? One, two, three, four, eight people. So as you can see, they are very well equipped with double beds, table, this is the second type which includes uh, like a big family bed if you come with your uh, wife and again with double beds. For those of you who travel on a budget, there is no problem to open your tent here, behind the yurt. The main idea of this event is to meet people like you, to talk on different motorcycle topics, to discuss different destinations, to gain some new information or to share your own experience. So everyone is more than welcome to come and I'll be really happy if I can bring people from abroad to see my own country. During these three days, we're gonna have also many different rides in the area, so you can taste at least something from Bulgaria. In uh, one of the days, I think it was on Saturday, we're gonna have this uh, interesting uh, game named Buck Explorer. This is the name of the game. And in this game, everyone could be part of the game and try to find different touristic attractions here in the area. We've done it last year and it happens really interesting, many people enjoy it, so we're gonna have it again. But not only this, the whole area is something that everyone should visit. If you want to come but you don't want to stay in the yurt or to spend the night in the tent, there is another one option. It's more like a super VIP option. There are a few guest houses like this with everything that you can imagine. They've got two like mirror bedrooms with bathrooms as you can see absolutely beautiful everything that 
you made neat. This is the second bathroom. And let me show you the bath. Just brilliant. As I told you, this yurt park is located around 60 kilometers west from Varna and it is at the end of this small and beautiful village named Neofit Rilski. This is the center of the village. A lot of development has been done here in the last few years because of the big historical park nearby that you can also visit. But the reason I stopped here now is because, again, part of the accommodation uh, this building over there will be finished after one month and at the beginning of May it will open as a hotel. So they will have around nine double rooms on the top and one big apartment. Also underneath there will be a restaurant for 100 people. And uh, over there on the right hand side where the workers are doing their job now at the moment with these stones will be a nice market on which one you can try all Bulgarian products. So all of this now looks like construction works, but it will be completely different in the beginning of May. The village Neofitrilski completely changed in the last five years. Many new buildings were built, many new bridges. Uh, a lot of people moved here to live because of the big historical park nearby. Many different opportunities for jobs and, and many more. The center part of the, of the village also was rebuild it. As you can see, bridges, fountains. Keep in mind that now it's March. After one month it will be even more beautiful. And this is the hotel from above and next to the hotel on the right hand side this is the, the church, the small Paraklis. And you can see the construction works from here. This is the restaurant part from inside. Not ready yet, but as I said at the beginning of May it will open. All very nice decorated. The same situation here in the hotel part, not finished yet, but I just spoke with the manager and he said in the beginning of May definitely open, maybe in the middle of April. This will be one of the corner rooms with a nice view and again typical Bulgarian style decorations. And if you just walk 10 minutes away from here, you're gonna see the historical park. I've been here before, maybe two years ago, but since then many things have changed and maybe the best person to explain everything is my friend Plamen. Please explain me a little bit more. What is the idea of the park? What is exactly and what was the progress that uh, happened here in the last two years? All right, uh, currently we are on the territory of the biggest historical park in the world and under the umbrella of Exarch, it's the World Organization for Experimental Archaeology. What 
the most significant thing here is that in this territory you can see in one place the history and culture of Bulgaria during different epochs, historical times, starting from the Neolith and ending to the Second Bulgarian Kingdom for now. Two years ago, as Pavlin already said, when we were last here, the Second Bulgarian Kingdom was not ready yet. This building, now, yeah? Yes, exactly. Now it is ready. It represents the battle uh, towers of Pliska, the first capital of uh, Danube Bulgaria, and the, the Tower of Preslav. It is the second uh, capital of Bulgaria here at this side of the Danube. Inside there are uh, copies of the uh, King's Palace and uh, some uh, administrative buildings which are probably at the end of this summer they will be officially opened and you, you can actually uh, see it uh, and enjoy the view because those are complete representation of the original buildings. Yes, thank you very much. So the idea is when you visit Bulgaria, you can easily come here and see everything in one place without wasting any more time. And then if you like, you can go and visit each one of the places, the the, the, the exact location. Exactly. Yeah, yeah okay. because uh, much better is to see the thing already built in one place. Because when you go on the original spot, there are only ruins. You can, most of the people cannot imagine the entire thing just by seeing the ruins. So yeah, first come here, see the entire building ready built and after that you can see the original spot yes i can confirm that even that i'm bulgarian when i go to the places the original places it's not the same like the, to see it in in one spot exactly all right thank you very much you're welcome thank you very much thank you're welcome, you very much. bye guys every time when i come to this place i feel proud that i'm bulgarian and i really hope that many people from around the world will come here visit my country visit this place test the local food, test uh, the local hospitality and finally change their opinion about my country. So, see you there guys. Ciao!